So, <clears throat> not every day is a good day on the farm. Today I'm walking out here trying to investigate a situation. And I can see obviously that I have a place that needs some more work. But I thought this was an interesting thing here. This right here. I'm going to put my hand on it for size comparison is not a tree. You can see it's bent over and then it spreads out and branches out. Now some of the branches run off this way and up into this tree that it has killed off. Some of them go back up this way onto this tree that's still alive and I'd be willing to bet that they branch over into the big tree that's down over there. But I know it goes up. I mean, look at all these massive vines that are headed up into this tree. So one of the things that I need to do around here, and it's one of those projects that will never get done, because they continually grow and whatever, is cut this down and cut it down out of that tree because I don't want this tree that's good 50, 60, 80 years old, I mean, who knows, it could be even more years old to die off because of a vine that's up in it. And granted, here in Texas we have other problems too, like this moss that grows and it it's carried by the air, it settles into the branch, it grows on the vine, or on the tree, keeps grabbing tighter and tighter and tighter until it suffocates the branch. And you see it just snapped off where that one was. And it's basically kills the branch. Now if you, I mean you could go around and pick them all off. I mean some of these have not been pruned or whatever and you know life, nature takes care of itself. They shoot out new growth and stuff. And that's one of the beautiful things about nature. <clears throat> All I can say is I got a neighbor that lives right over in that direction. He's an awesome neighbor. He's uh, going to come help me take care of my problem that I found. I actually found it yesterday. Not a fun situation. Needless to say, one of our calves... I was concerned about it three weeks ago, but I was watching it, trying to see what was going on. And I could see that it was eaten. It just wasn't being, it was a little bit, it, acting a little solitary. Didn't want to hang out with the herd. So I walked over it. I mean, as a matter of fact, the day we went and walked, looked at the uh, pond, it was that calf that was, or that heifer, that I was looking for. Just try to check, evaluate the situation. But she wasn't so lethargic that she, I mean, she wouldn't let me touch her. And she, like I said, I, she got up and was eating and stuff like that, but she just seemed to be, like, distancing herself from the herd. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't find her. Kept counting the cows out in the field, looking for them, seeing where they were. Because usually we'll miss one of them for a little while, and usually it's the bull because he's out wandering on his own because he likes to do that. So I just kept watching, and you know, it was getting close to dark, about half hour before dark, and I thought I might have seen her down in a lower field. So I drove down there to check it out, and she wasn't down there, and so then I was concerned, and I decided I needed to walk around and find her. And it was getting very close to dark, but I did find her, but she had passed away, so... Big question is why, and I don't believe. I tried looking online to see if I have the uh, Texas equivalent to Cody Krellman, the uh, <laughs> the cow doctor up in Canada, but I didn't find anything like that. So I tried to call a couple of my friends that have cows and things like that, and I still got a couple calls out to a couple people just because I want to talk to them, see what they think. And what they think we need to do. But my neighbor said he's going to come over and we're going to talk. And he said he's going to help me. Because I don't have a tractor with a scoop on or an inloader on the front to dig with. 
he's gonna come over and help dig a hole and we'll get it pulled in and bury it up so that we don't have problems with coyotes because last night they were out and crazy in our front yard or in the front open pasture that I showed you yesterday. I could hear them, I could tell where they were coming from. It sounded like a couple mamas in their in their 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 bat or their pups. They were just going crazy and woke me up a couple times, woke my wife up a couple times, but so yesterday we didn't have the best day here and today we're working on taking care of the problem so it doesn't make a bigger problem and inviting things in to scavenge. One advantage is where she passed away is under trees so we haven't had the vultures flying in and attacking her today while we figure out what we got to get done. And nothing came and got her last night so that'll be easier to uh, take care of and you really got to take care of it before they start bloating and all of that craziness but so sorry guys not a fun day when he comes over here we'll get things started and don't know that I'm going to show any video because that's just you know kind of morbid so we'll pick a nice clear spot spot of ground somewhat like this that's not too close to any of the trees because I really don't want to disturb these old trees and their root systems. Dig a big pit and pull her into it and then we'll have to as he said and what he did when he had one that passed away was uh, put a t-post in it and throw trash bags on it and so they flap in the wind and anything to startle a coyote is a good thing so we'll do that anyway guys hope you have a great day hope your day is better than ours is going but it's life on the farm not always Not always roses and butterflies. Even though you find some. I don't know why these two are out here hiding right here, but they are. We're probably close to 70 today, so they look like they're in the middle of uh, maybe taking care of business, so maybe I shouldn't be bothering them. Maybe I shouldn't be filming that either. Don't want to get in trouble with anybody. Well, I hope you all have a great day. Well, talk to you on the next one.